take you back to Friday night's uh, game and that one shift in particular that your your group had. Uh, I think it lasted over a minute in the offensive zone. We counted it up after the fact. You guys had nine shot attempts, sort of did everything, I guess, but score on that shift. Can you just take me through what does a shift like that feel like? Can you can you feel the momentum building as it's going on? Can you feel the ice tilting? And I guess, you know, what's it like to be able to contribute with with a, a, a shift like that? Yeah, I mean, it's always a positive, and it, it definitely, I mean, it feels good when you have an offensive shift like that when you're in the zone and you're able to hem them in, especially, um, you know, I think we, it was against Tavares' line too, you know, so when you can do it against one of their, um, you know, top lines and, you know, hem them in their D zone, it, uh, it, you know, it only stems well for the rest of our team, and I think we can kind of, uh, you know, whenever we get a shift like that, I feel like it helps our team and we kind of build some momentum, and, um, you know, I thought we did that after that. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Good morning, Eric. Good afternoon now, Nate. Um, the situation in Vancouver, I wanted to ask you about that. It's it's gotten a lot worse, it sounds like, with more than 20 players and, and coaches and stuff now sick, and some pretty sick, and their families getting sick. Uh, you, you, anyone over there you you know well and are concerned about it, and what's just your overall reaction when you hear that kind of thing? I mean, it's... I mean, these are unprecedented times, right? And this is a, it's a tough situation and there's not much we can do about it except just hope everyone is, uh, is healthy and, and is okay. Um, you know, I know Tanner Pearson a little bit. I haven't really talked to him. Um, you know, I, th I think he's all right. Um, but I, I think at this time, you just, you just hope everyone's healthy and safe. Uh, you want to first and foremost think about that. And then, um, you know, I, everything else, you know, the league is just going to have to figure out and just kind of take it day by day. Uh, I mean, that's all you, I think you really do right now. We'll go next to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Thanks, Gregor. Morning, Nate. Uh, just over a week out from the trade deadline. I mean, as a guy who was on the move last year, what was your experience like and, and what's the best way to handle that those last few days before the deadline as a player? Well, yeah, I've had a <laughs> practice a few the last, last few years. Um, I, I think it's, you know, you kind of just have to, you know, take it. I, I know I keep saying this, but I think it's you take it day by day, moment to moment. You just, you know, I, I think we have the best job in the world. And um, I think you just have to enjoy it. Um, you know, and it's all you can do is control what you can control. You know, it's you go out there, do your job, play your game, uh, be a good teammate, all those little things. And, um, you know, you just control what you control. All, all the rest is... Uh, you know, the general manager's job and, you know, that's their part of the business. So, um, you know, I, I think at this time of the year, it's always, uh, it's always exciting. You know, the teams are, teams are revving up, teams are, you know, adding pieces to their lineup and, you know, you know, that, uh, you know, the playoffs is around the corner. So this is an exciting time. We'll go back to Paul Friesen from the sun. Go ahead, Paul. Nate, you probably don't know Nathan Bull, you as well as some on the team, but uh, your thoughts on his season ending injury. Well, it's tough. I mean, it's tough for our team on the ice, obviously, because he brings so much, um, you know, physicality, plays hard, he blocks shots, he does all those little things that kind of go unnoticed. But I think not only on, on the ice, but off the ice, he's a huge part of our locker room. He's a fun guy to be around. Um, you know, he brings a certain life to our room and, um, you know, it's it's going to be missed. You know, he's a, you can't really replace him in that aspect. But um, it's definitely it's definitely a little bit of a blow for us because, you uh, you know, Nate Dog's such a good guy. So, um, you know, we're just going to have to, uh, you know, some guys are just going to have to step up. And final question to Ken Weaver from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Nate, the last while you've been back in the rotation on the penalty kill a little bit more, uh, what stood out about uh, what your group has been doing well on that front? Well, I think it's it's all the little details, right? I, I think that, um, you know, when we have to win important face-offs, it starts with that. And then obviously, you know, I think uh, Bucky, you know, when he's making big saves, you know, and that that's going to make your PK auto automatically better. But I think overall as a group, I think we've been um, really good in the details, you know, all those little things, blocking shots, you know, you know, clearing the puck down the ice, um, you know, just, uh, you know, pressuring when when we can and making it hard on the power play to be able to make plays. And I think we've done that on a pretty consistent basis. 